All right, welcome everybody uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for another edition of Bant Flash, which I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of update and just start calling it Bant Midrange because I have taken out some more of the um, Flash parts of the deck, so there's not a whole lot left of the Flash parts of the deck, mostly Frilled Mystic and Angel of Grace, and then I suppose Seal Away and Settle, but... Um, kind of adding in some, some Jade Light Rangers to, to, this is a, a new addition from the last time we played it was Jade Light Ranger to, um, kind of fill the curve a little bit. Um, just wanted like a, another thing to do on turn three there and also putting in another Teferi because remember last time we played this, uh, we like our last loss, like, or both of our losses, like we really struggled with just ever finding Planeswalkers. We just never did. And we just have like our, our early turns and stuff. And then we just not have planeswalkers and just kind of run out of cards against a couple control decks so adding in a sixth there with the teferi and let's try that yeah mid-range is probably just a better description now so just going with bant mid-range Okay. Play first. Looks pretty good. So before I had the... So I took out the... Um, not only the, the one spell pierce that, that wasn't really doing a whole lot, but the... Uh, is it Deputy? No, not Deputy. That's Deputy. Um, depose. The Depose and Deploys. Um, like those got replaced with Jade Light Rangers and you know right here I like seeing this Jade Light Ranger more than a deposed deploy certainly fits the curve better be able to play it here and not have to worry about or like you know have, get to play it before Frilled Mystic Um, so I want Bant Midflash. Uh, you like Growth Spiral a bunch? I think I started with Growth Spiral in the deck and kind of took it out. So I want, I want Deputy to take the Skilled Summit, but if they have, if they have a Sweeper, that's going to be really annoying. Oh well. I think it's a lot better chance that they have... <clears throat> that they have just any gate to play to start drawing more cards. Nice. They did not play the gate first. So we'll see if they try... Do they have another Wrath? Another... Another Guild Summit. They tapped wrong for that Guild Summit also. Unless they're okay, they're planning on casting a ghost spiral. Never mind. Favorite fast food place? Um, I honestly just don't. I'm not really a, a fast food eater. I don't like fast food too much. So I know J Light just puts another card out in front of a sweeper. Um, so I'm saving Shalai in case of a sweeper, but 
I think with Jade Light being able to kind of smooth our draws, I, I think, I feel like looking for either a Krasis or a, a Planeswalker or another Frilled Mystic, like trying to look to, for any of those was beneficial to playing the Jade Light Ranger there. So many guild summits. Sweeper looks really bad for us. Looks really bad for us. It's just so that's so good. Yeah, you just get to You just don't kill your gatebreaker rams, you kill all your opponent's creatures. Yeah, and we can't seal away rams. It's a huge problem. We're just dead here. Alright, sideboard time. See a seal away. Binding, yes. Binding, very good. Seal away, not so good. A bunch of negates, Knight of Autumns, Disdainful Strokes. I would like all of those cards, please. Deputy, not, uh... Not too good here because of because of their sweepers. So we're gonna take those out. Um, I'm not sure about settle. I kind of kind of like settle. Hmm. We just take out all the angels. I'll still have the one settle. One out of two. This looks pretty good. Alright, so we just played Mardu Control. February 16th, 19. All right, let's hopefully get, um, hopefully get a Planeswalker. I really like it to Fairy or a Vivian early with these mana creatures again. Yeah, Vivian's still good though, because especially because of Frilled Mystic and of course Krasis. Like just just finding your Frilled Mystics and Krasises. It's worth it. And then, of course, Vivian kills the Guild Summit. I, I don't think Trim and Vivian is where I want to be. Hmm. Want a Krasis for one? Yeah. Give me the next two cards, so hopefully hit a Planeswalker here. Nice. Would have drawn that next turn anyway, but still. down to 94. Awesome.
balance comes. All right, and this is what Vivian does. Gets us our frilled mystics. So we just start countering everything. See what they do here. Ram. No one knows the wilds like I do. No rams for you. Yep, got those duresses. Yep, use the Slesnia Singleton deck to get those. And I got one Galta. Uh, we, we did that the other day. First league, we got a Galta, and then, then we did just three leagues. Uh, where we just quit after the one win to get the duresses. Opponents down to the three cards in hand. What you got? Vivian is two spots away from ultimating. Meet my newest friend. I don't know if I have a Mardu control banner for the YouTube channel. What is this? Um. Is the final answer there? All right, so I'll destroy the guild summit, and we'll just go ahead and ultimate Vivian. Nothing stands before nature. This game should be over pretty soon. There we go. <laughs> Jody was nine zero today in Memphis. Awesome. Yeah, he should still be playing Rakdos. Okay. We did have that, that clutch Ixalan's binding for the Ram. That was certainly clutch. We saw how good Frilled Mystic is also that game. Thanks, Jam. Uh, this is keeping the gate open for dang it. I was gonna try having the gate there for uh, Guild Summit. I didn't need to ferry for the ram. Maybe no. Oh, please let me trade. Wow. That is such a good trade for me. Don't have another ram. Don't be like that. Wow.
So you're telling me they could have just... They could have just played their gate and made their ram a 5-5. Five five. Our circuitous route is put two lands on the battlefield and draw two cards. Do not want that to happen. So definitely countering that. And now destroying the guild summit. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Wow. Another ram. Well, we drew a binding. Balance comes. Let's get Jade Light. No, I'll take Night of Autumn. Binding is so good. Get that ram out of here. Clutch binding number two, right? Unfortunately, we put clutch binding number three on the bottom. It's one of these bottom three cards. Unfortunately. All right, draw your two. No one said restoration was painless. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, so I just feel like feel like resetting Vivian. You know, we got a new Vivian here. Um, you know, Vivian going to eight. Uh, yeah, we got new emotes, Celtics Banner, and new glasses. It's a whole new stream. So yeah, just cashing in that Vivian to kill the guild summit and yeah, resetting Vivian because um, getting to eight loyalty with Vivian is exactly where we want to be. That's what we want to try to do. Ah, uh, thanks Jam Dot. Thanks Jam. Yeah, I'm here every single day. Hmm. All right, I guess we're not. <laughs> guess we're not going to be too close to ultimating Vivian. I know I could just play a big Hydroid Crisis here that can block the Angel pretty easily, but I want I want to have Frilled Mystic available now. Exactly, because mass manipulation could be coming soon. Exactly, mass manipulation is a. Is a card I'm worried about. I don't have any videos piloting mono, mono blue. No, I don't really play the um, the top tier decks very much. It's so like mono blue, is it Drake's soul tie, all that kind of stuff. You're not gonna really see me playing those decks. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Not exact, exactly expecting a Carnage Tyrant. All right, if I leave four mana, how big can I make this? I can make it a 5-5 five five with four mana still. All right, let's, might as well make it a 9-9 nine nine then. 9-9 nine nine is four cards. I guess 8-8. Eight eight. In case we draw another Land War Elf. No. Oh, Negate would have been a reason to make it 7. Can you play guitar? Please don't mass manipulation. Please, please, please don't mass manipulation. Please, kind opponent, don't have that card. No, they're targeting, they're looking at my Vivian. 
Any other card in the format I'm okay with. Woo! Not mass manipulation. Yes. <laughs> Gates deck. Gates worst enemy. Negate. <laughs> you can always play Hydroid for zero and hold up Grilled Mystic. <laughs> it's true. If we wanted to really hold up Grilled Mystic, could have done that. Oh, I'm just reading comment. Yeah, those are comments from before. That's Waticus. With the good comments. All right, lots of lasso mana. Meet my newest friend. Meet my newest friend. Alright, so we got three counter spells. I mean, does that card even matter? I don't think that card matters. Yeah, the they're yeah, they get a lot of life. Come to me. Um Which is true. All right, so four, four, and then two. Okay, so I need a shock here. So now I still have double frilled mystic and negate available. They get a lot of life, but if I ultimate the Vivian, that life goes away like that. And with all these counter spells in our hand, it's kind of hard to imagine us not ultimating the Vivian about now. You can't stop nature. All right, so. Um, I just, I just assume I don't need to shock that in. Yeah, I can't wait till they let us pick the land art again. That, that was certainly looked like an oversight. Oh, sorry, it was pronounced Watakis. All right, fine. What a kiss. Trading one incubation druid for a carnage tyrant and an archway angel. Gates of Blaze. Nope. Using the one frilled mystic they know about. No one knows the wilds like I do. Wait, whoa, they intentionally removed it? Really? Hey, Yudn. Yeah, I always thought it was a bug also. Why would they intentionally remove that and just force you to play Rivals of Ixalan lands in every deck? Like, how does that even... How's that even, like... How's that even a realistic decision to make? 
Yeah, I got brand new glasses. Somebody said earlier I look like Buddy Holly. Yeah, I know you can use the import function, so it's like, what's... So, like, why would they even do that if you can just use the import function anyway? Okay, you don't think it's a intentional discoding mistake. <laughs> I look just like Buddy Holly. Um, oh, I need to make a Mardu control thumbnail also still. Alright, say yes there. This. The. Move this. All right, almost done, almost done. All right, so yes. It looks good. All right, what do we got? No. No land werewolf. Major, major. All right, save. And now, go get this. Alright, YouTube video from Art of Control, ready to go once it's done uploading. Alright, at least it's not mono blue aggro. I don't like our hand too much against mono blue aggro. Uh, I'd rather take our chance against Drake's. I like these Vivian reads. All right, Victor. All right, so this is from the patch notes. Um, please note, as part of this rebuild, you can no longer use the deck builder to change your basic land art. For now, you can still import the deck list with a set code and number of basic land art you want. So yeah, they, they're certainly making it seem like uh, it's something they want to change because, you know, with the language for now. So that's good that it wasn't uh, something too intentional. Speaking of, like, our the basic land art, I like our opponent's choices. There's, there's, that's a good-looking mountain there. I mean, that's not a mountain. That's a city. So it's not a mountain at all, but that's also just not an island. Like, that's just, like, red city, blue city. What? Toma Tomahawk ribeye steaks? Dude, I bet that... That sounds awesome. I, I don't even remember my last steak. Actually, I think I do. It was a long time ago, though. Yeah, I think I, I think my last time I ate a steak was in October. Man, I need a, I need a steak. I have to curl my hair a little bit to look a lot more like Buddy Holly. Gotcha. So opponent's got a phoenix. Beast, the wilds are my shield. I think I'm playing Teferi here over Vivian. Um, 
I, I really like my opponent using the opt here on this turn. Because I want to look for seal away. I want to start drawing. Let's keep up the pace. Yeah, we could have played Krasis, but Krasis is only for four, aka dies to Lava Coil. I want to make sure Krasis is bigger than four and doesn't die to Lava Coil. I currently live in Roanoke, Virginia right now. I'm kind of from the Dallas, Texas area. Oh, wow, that is a huge stake. That's like... That's like a brisket. Yeah, that's like a brisket. That thing is huge. You expected Spell Pierce there? Yeah, could have certainly been a Spell Pierce. Would you rather play Angrath or Vivian? Oh, man. I like both those cards a whole lot. Um, I guess I would rather play Angrath, though. Angrath's just so much fun to play. Vivian's better. Like, Vivian's a better card, but I think I like Angrath more. Stop! Every Phoenix. What are you doing, opponent? Three of those? Oh, wow. They, they don't come back out, though. They didn't have the third spell. No time for a break. No, we just got a break. What do you mean there's no time for a break? We just had one. My life was pretty plain. Hmm. Discard land or Vivian? I'll discard a Vivian. I want to keep hitting our land drops. Nah, the new Domri isn't too good. Unfortunately. Alright. Casting Charter Course post combat means like it's not a spell. Um Let's skip to the good part. It's not a spell that counts towards Phoenix. Wild animals I like. Draw and fire. Okay, so now we have either um, either Frilled Mystic or Angel of Grace available. All right, I would like to Frilled Mystic that thing. I regret discarding that Vivian right about now. You know what? I'm not done yet. Meet my newest friend. Um No attacks. So now our Teferi has Hexproof. We have a Frilled Mystic. We are probably ultimating this Teferi. Thanks, Sneaky Pepper. Yeah, we can sneak an Angel of Grace in front of that Crackling Drake too, or I can just block it with this Krasis also. Um... That card's fine. We'll see if they get the three Arc Light Phoenixes out this turn. They'd have like, you know, three spells in hand. I, I can also counter uh, if they have some kind of 
Some kind of card draw spell. Like that. That seems like a good thing to counter. Instead of letting them draw two. All right, and this game's over. Because now they can't shock the Teferi. Thank you, Shalai. And they're looking at the Teferi. So I'm going to just use Vivian to kill Mirari Conjecture, Ultimate Teferi, uh, play new Teferi, tick up, draw a card, exile Crackling Drake. Okay, we get to just trade here. Each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. I won't hide. We need to move quickly. So the, with the crackling Drake going, we could just get to get rid of the Mirari conjecture you with can't that thing. Stop nature. Real Mystic's pretty good. This is uh, Church's The Mother We Share. And thanks, Alpha Wolf. Thank you. Yeah, Teferi plus Jellyfish. Teferi Fish. Yeah, it's nice that, that there is that marker now for the cards that are revealed. That's pretty nice. All right, let's get Binding, Seal Away, Settle. We were really lucky that game, also, with, like, the Arclight Phoenixes and everything. We really were. Hmm. What am I taking out of the deck, though? I actually kind of like everything. Like, maybe Frilled Mystic? Yeah, maybe it's just Frilled Mystic. I mean, I like how Vivian's removal... Maybe I take out JR. Mystic is a kind of expensive counter magic. My top ends already already have a ton of top end here. Um, I kind of want to play some negates also to protect like deputy at attention. <laughs> Somewhere between heaven and best meal on earth. There you go. Um. I don't usually like Shalai in this matchup, but Shalai is good at protecting Deputy at Detention. But I don't usually like it, you know, blocking stuff. But it is better against Arc White Phoenix, too. Let's trim one Vivian. No white mana. Double crisis though. We can kind of cycle through those when we get to four mana. Just play a crisis on one, crisis on one. I feel like we can draw some lands. So just kind of as a reminder, tomorrow's just a normal stream day from 3 to 10, but then Monday we will be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate getting to 1,500 YouTube subscribers. If you're not following the YouTube channel, feel free to do that to be able to see all of the replays. And also celebrating my birthday, because that's on Monday also. So that's, that's our President's Day birthday. Uh, stream and everything like that on Monday.
So good news, we got the uh, got the white source. Bad news, they shocked our land war elf. See if we can draw another white source. Not yet. Yep, I'm turning 21 on Monday. Turning 21 again. Just always turning 21. Instead of playing a Shalai that will, like, you know, die to a Lava Coil or whatever, I, I'm going to play the Krasis here to, to look for more land drops. <sighs> what age was I when I was teaching? I was 21. I've been 21 for the last, like, 15 years almost. Ah, <sighs> uh, Thunderbeard, you're going to have a 12 to 14 hour day on Monday? Dang, same here. Aha, I'd rather that get lava coiled in July. Let's go like end step Angel of Grace. I could see this being disdainful stroke here. And I don't want to just throw out Vivian into a disdainful stroke. Yeah, they didn't even cast the radical idea. Certainly seems like they have disdainful stroke or something like that. Flash, cre flash creatures are sweet. <laughs> you got a full work day and then a night shift for maintenance work. Ugh. Run fiber supporting vendors for some card upgrades on some telecom equipment. Yeah, that'll be a tough day. Hope you get some good sleep before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looked like a brisket. That didn't look like a steak. I think that was a brisket. Shalai eats that lava coil so Angel of Grace doesn't. Tapped out. This is, hold that so we get ball. to res resolve. Um, resolve to fairy. Start drawing some more cards. I like hitting the land drop. Time for plan B. Lightning strike also? Oh, Phoenix. Alright, you got me. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hmm. Let's see if you're worthy. I kind of want to wait till the other phoenix is out to be able to settle to settle them. But we'll kind of see what happens here. And of course, our, our opponent does know about that deputy, so they may save this bacon bolt to um, kill deputy. Double phoenix? Gross. Alright, I guess it's settle the wreckage time. I know, right? Bacon bolt. That's making me hungry. I am, I am pretty hungry right now. Ugh! 
Not again. I only had really seal away now. Couldn't have that like before to protect either of our planeswalkers. Um What was I saying? Oh yeah, I only had like a, a smaller chicken sandwich earlier today. Yep, I've played Singleton. Uh, I've gotten one Galta so far. Certainly see this getting countered because it seemed like earlier that they were have like holding a counter spell up. Yeah, whether it's negate or disdainful stroke or something like that, so. Alright, let's hope they don't have a counter spell for the second one. That does not look like a counter spell. Go ahead and attack all out. Yeah. So if I de if I cast deploy, I guess I guess it does like make them have that or like it makes them use that. Yeah, I probably should just cast deploy. Honestly, deploy is probably a better play. Um. Or not deploy, but deputy. Deputy, because if I if I play deputy, then it incentivizes them to actually use that uh, beacon bolt. One, two, three, four, five, six. And which like you know takes cards out of their hands. Yeah, I should have should have deputied. Yeah, it worked out, but you're right. That that would would have been a better play. Nice, DJ Poly B. Glad you're doing this, the singleton deck there. And it's working out. Attack! I guess I don't have Seal Away up anymore. I could could easily just played one of these lands and had Seal Away available still. Okay, we are two and O oh with Bam Midrange. Yeah, our opponent was basically playing an old school Phoenix deck. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Yep, that's what it looks like. All right. GG's. Five win dream still alive. Ugh. I'm feeling like a 5 0 here. Feeling like just let's just rattle off three wins in a row. No, this will be my last run of the night. Usually I stream from 3 to 10 Eastern, so usually I'm off, you know, usually I get done streaming about 10 minutes ago, but, you know, we're finishing out the run here, and then I will be getting some food, because I am pretty hungry, so I'm hoping just to win three quick matches here, and then go see what I got in the freezer to warm up for dinner. Yeah, to get the the deck list for um, Gruel Stompy, you can check out the Stream Decker page there. 
has all my decks on it, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. And the girl Stompy, you can find it right right in there. And of course, if you want to watch the Gruel Stompy, if you want to see that, you can find that deck. You can see the video of me playing that earlier on the YouTube channel. Also. Yeah, no problem. And that's youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, Alva, what do you got going on over there? So it looks like our opponent's on a mulligan to five. Um, but they are on the draw, so that's why they had like the six cards in hand. This could be a mirror match. Nope. It's more popular. It's the more popular Sultai version of a Simic deck. Oh man, I would love to have some sushi right now. I do love me some sushi. gonna pass. I feel like if I play if I play Shalai, then they just like like hostage taker it or Chupacabra it, and then I'm you know a little further behind. What the hell is that thing? Talked about a card I was not expecting it at all. I honestly think that, like, so as you can tell, I just threw out the Curled Mystic here because I honestly think I just need need the bodies out there right now. Not a whole lot of people are playing too many Carnage Tyrants these days, but that was certainly a good one. Best case scenario is I find a settle the wreckage. I only have one in my main deck. It's not a very likely best case scenario. Alright, well yeah, I guess we got a couple of y'all still playing some Carnage Tyrants. Whoa. I'm known for my excellent timing. Guess they didn't have anything else in their hand. All right, let's get other settle. Um, seal away. Come seal away. Come seal away. Seal away with me. Um. So at different times, like Binding, Disdainful Stroke, Negate, all reasonable cards. I think I'm going to go with this, though. Yeah, go with this. Okay, so Zeref, what do you mean by adjust the lighting to avoid glare? Um, like on my computer screen? Hey, DJ Polly B, gifting a sub to Parm Regio. Santa DJ. Thanks, Santa DJ. 
So that is subscriber number 33 and Cornix. Uh, Cornix? I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But that's sub number 34. Welcome to the channel. That means we are one away from pack time. Thank you kindly there. Let's go with Khan, maybe. Let's go with Khan. Thanks, Khan. Enjoy all the awesome new emotes. Yeah, we have 22 emotes now live. We have six new ones today. Um, I had three slots open previously, so I, I got rid of three emotes that didn't use too much anymore. They were more like Magic Online emotes. Hi. Won't wait. They're keeping Llanowar Elf. Hmm. What's the deal with that? Keeping Llanowar Elf at this point. It's gotta be kind of important. Gotta be like maybe trying to go for a Carnage Tyrant the next turn. Stronger. No one knows the wilds like I do. I've seen things that would break Land someone drops. like you. Well, we saw a settle go down to the bottom. That's not so good. Yeah, this is Bant Flash with a couple. We have yeah, just those Come couple changes. Yeah, so I, I'm kind of rebranding it as Bant Midrange now, um, with there just being not many Flash things left in the deck. So I'm playing Hydro Crisis the next turn. Ooh. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. And I feel like I like having the the Midnight Reaper be able to, like be tapped for seal away. No one knows the wilds like I do. Shalai works. I need I need a flyer to pressure Vivian, and so Shalai kind of works here. Uh, I get to play that and seal away. Come to me. Wow, they are really dinosaur heavy. Can I please draw settle the wreckage? Every defeat is a new beginning. Ah! Most wounds can heal. So Krasis can trade with Tyrant, and of course they can't they can't kill the Krasis right now because of Shalai, but of course Vivian can. Um, Vivian can take out Shalai if they have a different card that's a removal spell for Feel Krasis. Feel the wrath of Scala.
which is the case. So I have two settles in the deck, but we know one is towards the bottom because of Vivian ticking up. So we've seen one. So one's in the bottom, six cards of our library. So the top 35, there is one settle in the top 35, and we hope to draw that like now. Hmm. <laughs> hey, good job, Voodoo Beer got to Diamond too. So close to Mythic. You're almost there. Almost there. Um. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to change anything. I like being on the play here, for sure. Hopefully we can get, um, you know, we get to get our Planeswalker out early. You know, they got the Vivian out early. Hopefully we can with having our eight mana creatures. That's a start. Let's draw a couple lands here. But I'm not going to not gonna ship the turn two Druid with a Teferi in there. Um, just got to draw a couple lands. You can do it, deck. There you go. I hope our opponent goes, like, land war, land war, and then we deputy them all. And then they concede. Maybe they go triple land war elf. Oh. That's bad. More lands, deck. More lands. Okay. Good start. I suppose. Crushing canopy. Looks like they may be stuck on lands also. Problem is they have a couple four threes. Oh man. The thing is, is like if, if this deputy dies, they just get to explore four times. It's a it's a certainly a risky deputy here. Other option is just playing a crisis for two. It's not super common to have Carnage ty Tyrant and Sultai, no. Uh. Well, at least they, on they only just draw one card. Gosh. Deck, why are you doing this? We kept a two lander. We've seen one land in the first six cards. Yeah, that was risky. You're you're right. Having two four threes on the battlefield was um, certainly going to be a problem with our life total. So we kind of had to go for that deputy play. So much for that early Teferi that I was hoping that we could get to. You know, never got to it. But we're two one, and we're going to now trustle in the process. And this hand uh, looks better. We actually have our lands to get to Teferi. Not you. Perfect. No. That's all right. 
Grixis control. We don't want to play this basic... Don't want to play this basic planes with Frilled Mystic in our hand. <clears throat> The opponent may just have another Thought Erasure for Teferi now. Bolus. So they just let this resolve? Huh. They got a Contempt? You show time is much more malleable than people think. No, <laughs> please run. A chase stokes the move forge. Quickly. Biggins. No fire, no steel. Thanks for getting the Twitch Prime sub in, Biggins. You are sub number. Sub number 35 on the day. All right, Angel of Grace, start attacking this and Graph for us, please. We got that sub goal. There we go. Thanks, Big N. So yeah, it's going to be pack time after this. We're gonna be cracking a pack open. No time for a break. Oh, I, I should have kept that land in hand because of Angrath. Because they they take up Angrath first before playing Nicol Bolas. Blows temper the blade, swine. Yeah, I should. I was thinking just um. Uh, oh, we're at 90 now. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, like, don't want to discard, like, the land to Nickel Bolt or, like, no to, fire. to something, no like, afterwards steel. and display the land. But, yeah, no, I messed that up. Could have countered the Bolus. You in chains next time. No, Nicol Bolas is not uncounterable. That's a uh, Niv Mizzet is the uncounterable uh, dragon. So transforming Nicol Bolas means they can get Teferi or Angrath into play. Yeah, I messed that up real bad. Witness omnipotence. Isn't death amusing? Trust me, you'll think not so fast. All right, kill Nicol ah, Bolas. Curse you! Because <clears throat> that thing is really good. Just draws multiple cards. Honestly, them just taking up the Bolas and just drawing multiple Hold cards may have been better. All right, can we draw another Teferi, please? Okay, that's not a bad one. I 
Unfortunately, Eldritch Reborn is each opponent discards a card, so it's not. You know what? I'm not it's done not yet. Something that we get to. Okay. It's not. It's not like something that Shalai protects protects us. All right, binding is quite good. And all this other stuff. Let's take out the settle. Um, gonna take out seal aways with how they make us discard cards. Um, deputies. And then, uh, what about mana creatures? Shall I? Actually, I probably gets coiled a whole lot. We'll go two night of autumn instead of three, and taking Shalai out. Um, yeah, Shalai is just real vulnerable to basically all the removal. Okay, hope we have a lot of lands like we had last time. Good. Lots of lands. It's an important thing to have against a, a Grixis deck that has all their Thought Raiders and everything. I don't really necessarily want to have my Planeswalkers in my hand because of their mono Thought Erasure stuff with all their discard. So I don't actually really want to have all the Planeswalkers in my hand. I'd rather have, I'd rather like, you know, draw them off the top. Um... But we're in there. We'll see if they did do the... See if they have the same philosophy that they had last game of take... Last game they took three mana spell, four mana spell, left us with the Planeswalker. Oh! I just said I just said that of like that they would leave us with the others but obviously they didn't But I, I was just, you know, how I was talking, you know, like talking, and so like I was saying that like last time they, they, um, took the three mana spell, but obviously this time I've lost so much already. This time they didn't, I but I just more. played the tap land like they did, so that certainly hurt. You're just fuel for the fires. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. The wilds are my shield. Traces for two, so we can hold up negate. No fire. Yeah, we've been like no a little steel. a little behind this whole time because I didn't just have like frilled mystic also on turn four to counter the campaign, the disinformation campaign. Uh Meet my newest friend. Mm. 
No fire, no steel. Our decks felt pretty good. Um, it is, you know, slightly clunky. I mean, we have a the, it, we have a very high curve, um, but you know, like we have like the the man creatures that try to help get us there. Um, Yeah, our, our high curve is is tough at times, for sure. Ran into that trouble a little bit. All these moment cravings. You can't stop nature. Is it hard to keep up mana for Frilled Mystic, or do the mana creatures help op offset that? Yeah, the mana creatures help op offset that. Like, so the the goal of the deck is to have the like play mana creatures real early. Um, and then, so like early mana creature, and then Planeswalker in like the the middle game, the mid game, untap with the Planeswalker, and then have Frilled Mystics up. And use the planeswalkers to find more frilled mystics and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of the the goal of the deck. Your crew for my freedom, <laughs> a fair price. They're down to only one card left. Oh. Uh, I can no longer stand by and watch. You need to slow down. Should have just let Vivian take it. I mean, we're still doing okay. Well, we're not doing as okay anymore. Never mind. That's a that was a wonderful draw for them. That was a really good draw. Really? If I would have just ticked up to fairy. to discard like our whole hand now. This again. I know my reverse. Let's try this again. Oh my god. Long day. I mean I I win this game like very easily if I would have just on turn three played the Jade Light, and we've just been behind ever since then because of that because I didn't. So that's frustrating. Thanks for Lynn.
Threw this game away. Threw that game away. Ugh. End of a long day. Could have could have won that game very easily if we just went to just played the J late on turn three. We have that game won very easily. But I didn't. I was talking and played the and uh, forgot about it. Alright, so um we got to our 35th sub there, though, uh, during that, so it is time to crack a pack open. Not going to forget about the pack opening, so thank you so much, Biggins, for getting us to that sub goal there. And we'll see if we get a... Um, see if we get a Storm of the Vault with that. Sphinx's Decree. I forgot that was a card. Forgot about that one. Yeah, so a disappointing end to our Bant mid-range deck here. Um, I liked having the Jade Lights in the deck. I thought that was a good addition. So I, I liked I liked the additions of putting the two Jade Lights in there and putting the third Teferi in. I liked, liked those additions uh, for sure. But I... Kind of threw away that game against Grixis, though. So. Oh, well. Um, still a good deck, though. Um, still a deck I like. I like quite a bit, but, you know, that was my bad. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, hope you hit that subscribe button, of course. And thanks for watching. And if you're watching this here in Twitch chat, um, don't forget to go follow the YouTube channel, and you can go see any of the replays. If you missed, like, Gruul Stompy earlier, that deck looked really impressive. We started off with a couple of easier wins against some not-so-good decks, like we played against Rats and so on. But uh, after that, the last three were good, impressive deck, good, impressive wins for the deck, and so that was pretty cool. And everything, and, uh, yeah, so that's it for me tonight. Um, remember, a 12-hour stream on Monday, so hope, hope to see you there on Monday for the 12-hour stream. And a uh, normal stream tomorrow. So I'll be seeing you then.